Thank you, everyone. Uh, I'm presenting an open source tool on sandboxing uh, for enabling safe installation of untrusted open source packages. I'm Ashish. Um, I hold a PhD in cybersecurity from Georgia Tech, and uh, now I work at Oscillate, and we're building tools to mitigate open source supply chain attacks. Um, so what are these attacks? So we, in the last couple of years, we have seen uh, bad actors publish malicious packages on uh, popular package managers such as uh, PyPy, RubyGems, and NPM. And uh, these attacks have been increasing every year. So how do we defend against such attacks? So well, security is a shared responsibility, and uh, we must all do our part. And there are multiple measures that I think we have talked about. For example, enabling two-factor authentication you know, to stop uh, account hijacking attempts, uh, name scoping to stop dependency confusion attacks. And we have talked about code signing, provenance. However, these measures uh, fall short. For example, a disgruntled maintainer, like we saw a recent protestware attack, they can abuse their own package. Um, so they can still propagate malware. So this uh, figure is from uh, Salsa, it's a, it's a uh, supply chain security framework from, from Google. And it, it says that the Salsa framework cannot protect against compromised packages. Um, so we need additional security measures, or we must you know, thoroughly analyze the code that we are using, especially if it's untrusted third party. However, this is easier said than done because every package can have uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, transitive you know, dependencies, and reviewing everything manually is just infeasible. So there are open source tools like Package uh, you know, uh, that can semi-automate this and so, uh, to some extent. Um, it can look for um, several risky attributes, such as you know, if the dependency is old or vulnerable, you know, number of dependencies, any risky APIs, for example, um, you know, is the package trying to access your file system, you know, your keys, or you know, t trying to talk to a, a server uh, that's remote. Uh, if the package repo is available and the code matches with, uh, with the repo or not. Uh, however, a sophisticated malware can still find a way. Uh, for example, there was a recent academic study that said 99% um, of malicious NPM packages that were found, it, they at least used one pre-install hook. What that means is that um, a malicious package can behave differently in different environments, different operating systems, uh, a different CI/CD environment can behave differently in production, can be, can trigger you know at a later time, and can hide itself you know, in a weight analysis. So um, that's why we must apply security in layers. So an additional layer is a sandboxing layer. And uh, this can enable safe installation. At least we can sandbox the install uh, step of uh, dependencies. Uh, so we have built this tool called Package Sandbox. It's open source hosted on GitHub under oscillating. And uh, it can basically detect and stop any uh, malicious activities before uh, it can happen. And uh, it's fully configurable. It can take uh, custom firewall rules. For example, you can specify that pa package installation should only go to rubygems.com you know, um, or uh, npsjs.org. Uh, um, you can specify what file system directories are, should be touched. So for example, if you want to prevent solar wind like attack where the code was overwritten, you can specify that do not, do not write current directory. Um, it can also monitor processes that, that are being created. For example, if, if a package is trying to spawn a pseudo shell, you can be detected and uh, blocked. So let's see uh, the sandbox in action. So in this case, what we are doing is we are trying to uh, sandbox installation of a Ruby gem called uh, Overcome It. And uh, it's just the same command, it's just uh, you need to add package sandbox before the actual installation command. And um, what it's going to do is it, it'll do the same installation uh, steps. Uh, it'll get the package tarball uh, and it'll install. But at the end of it, it's going to provide, uh, it's going to provide you with uh, uh, data on what the package installation uh, step did. So what URLs were contacted, what servers were contacted. And it'll block anything that you have um, not listed, you have not uh, you know, allowed in your uh, custom firewall rule. And it'll also give you um, um, 
uh, um, summary of file system changes. So what file system changes were made? And it will allow you to either commit or discard these changes. If you discard, the package will not be installed. Um, and it can also fake um, network requests. So the package installation could still succeed and not cause any um, like actual outbound requests. So uh, the question is, uh, why not containers or VMs? Well, um, they are built for different um, purposes. So for example, they have this host versus guest notion. Uh, so if you install a package in, um, um, in a container or a VM, you're installing in guest, and then you need to copy it back to host. Also for uh, compatibility, the host file system uh, and the guest file system must, must exactly be the same. Otherwise, it'll, call, uh, it'll cause incompatibilities. For example, uh, native packages or packages, uh, uh, Python packages that have wheels. Um, and uh, these tools also require super user privileges. That means you're increasing the attack surface. And in your CI CD environment, you would need uh, Docker in Docker or nested VMs to enable this. So package sandbox tool um, fills the gap. Uh, it, um, intercepts all system call requests, and it'll rewrite the argument at runtime so that the file system changes are layered on top of uh, the host file system. So that means package installation step gets exact re replica of where you want the package to be installed finally. Uh, and at the same time, it'll layer those changes, so it's copy on write. And no root privileges are, requ are required. It uh, uses ptrace. So you can enable harden uh, CI CD pipeline with uh, package. Uh, so we have created a GitHub action. Uh, it can also audit as well as uh, sandbox the installation process. So it will point you end of it. It will you know uh, a, a comment on your PR and point if if there's any risky packages or dependencies. Uh, for example, in this case, you know we found a vulnerable one and um, a one that needs review. Uh, because it communicates with external network, perhaps it's supposed to. So, but it just says that you need to review the code. So it'll uh, reduce um, man thorough manual vetting to a couple of code glances. That's it. Uh, thank you so much. And the uh, package source code is hosted on GitHub. Uh, love any feedback. Thank you. Um, so we are tracing this process, installation process, and all children processes that are spawned as part of this parent installation step. We intercept every system call request. So every file system request, every network request is intercepted. If you build with a container, um, I haven't tried. I think it should work, but I haven't tried. But I think the support can be added. Yeah. If you're asking if it can log all system call requests so that you can review and is the am I understanding correctly or? Yes, so you can have your allow list um, in, your, in your firewall rules, and uh, it will only allow those requests. Right? And you, pretty much you can add some sort of a test station to that. All right, thank you so much.